Hello everybody, I'm here with a tutorial on how to download skins to Cube Worlds. I mean, the thing is, there's a lot of tutorials on on this, on like everywhere, but I've, I've tried like almost all of them, and they're so, I won't say bad, they're just out of date, because the, I'm gonna show you, most of them, they tell you to download the Cube World Launcher. Cube World Launcher. Right? So here it is, but it's broken. It's a broken thread. He stopped working on it. You click this, which is the download. Right? It takes you to this. But this source.zip, that's not what you need. You need the actual application. I mean, I'm sure you could do something with this. I just don't know how. I try. I have to. I had to find my own way of doing it, and it's. I think it's easier than having your own launcher, like a whole different launcher just for mods. Okay, so this is what I did. Pretty much, you need to download the mod. I'm gonna be using the space theme mod, right? So whatever you go, I'm gonna have the links in the description, by the way. You go, whatever, you go for the, I think the first one here is the whole mod, and the second one is just for the glider. Um, you can download the whole mod, but I'm not gonna showcase the whole mod. I'm only gonna do the glider and the boat, because I haven't even seen the boat. I tested out the glider just to make sure it worked, but yeah. Um, you, it is a lot of work to download the whole mod, just as it is for any other mod. Because it takes a lot of, uh, whatever work you'll see okay so you go to asset browser you go to here whatever the other link and you click here All right here uh, let's say I'll click here whatever it doesn't really matter you go here you go to download right here asset browser bo point whatever whatever is it it should give you this it's a winwar file you're gonna need winwar for this Alright, so then for the space theme mod, you're also going to need Renoir. The download button is right here. The download will begin. You save it onto your desktop. Okay, so yeah, let me just do that just so I can keep up with you guys. See, whatever that pops up, you don't need it. Save it onto your desktop. Boom. Alright. I just did it because I already have the space theme, whatever, in a folder, which is right here. So what I did was I made a new folder for cube mods, for cube world mods. I just call it cube mods, and I just dragged it in. I'm gonna delete it because it's right here. So sorry, I'm just gonna fix this real quick. When you put it in here, it's right here. See, what you do is you right click it and you click extract here or extract files, whatever you want to do. But extract here for it will extract it wherever it is. So if you extract it in the desktop, you're gonna have a whole bunch of files on your desktop and it's just gonna get really annoying. So don't do that. Try to put it in a folder, it just makes it easier to manage. I'm gonna put it in a folder in another folder just because I'm gonna put different mods here at some point. Not yet because we don't have it. I don't really have anything yet. I'm gonna delete this. So I'm gonna rename it space theme. Right, everything's here. So now what we do is with the asset browser once you have it downloaded. All right, with the asset browser once you have it downloaded, what you do is you go to your Cube World folder. All right, so it should be in C drive, program files times eighty six, and then Cube World. So then, you open it up. All you gotta do, just select them all, and then just drag it over here. I already have it, as you can see. You don't, I don't need to do it, but that's all you guys do. Just drag it over there. So then, when you have it here, you open up Asset Browser. You gotta go to File, Open. Um, it says Browse for Folders. Select Cube World, Install Directory. Normally, at least for me, it already, it was already there. It already had it selected. So. You just from up here, you just press OK. I mean, you can check just in case. Whatever. The first thing should be aim.cub. Alright, so when you do when you want to change something, this is for skins. I'm I'm pretty sure this is music. Like sounds. So if you wanna get like a different sound pack or whatever. Um 
these are, I'm not sure, these are just pictures. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what these are. And I'm not sure what this is either. So don't mess with these, at least not for this tutorial. I'm not going to mess with them. I don't really know what these two do. I know that this is for pick, this is for sound, and this is for models. Okay, so you go to edit, insert. What you got to do now is find the folder. I have it on my desktop, so I just went desktop, cube mods, space thing, right here. So now you click on whatever you want. I'm going to look for both. I already have... I already have the glider installed. I don't know where it is. It's G, obviously. So right here. It was right here. I already have it installed. So I'm going to go to the boat2.cub. That's the only boat I see. So that's the one I'm going to put in. So open. All right. And that's it. So you just close it down. Now, this is the thing. If you go to Cube World Launcher, it's going to ask you to put in your information and it's going to update your cube world because it's going to notice that the data one has been messed with and it's going to have to update it. What I had to do was, this is the actual application without the launcher. I uh, created a shortcut and then I dragged it here. This is the shortcut. Um, I just changed the logo like just because it looked really bad as a shortcut. You go to properties, it's already here, shortcut change icon I went to browse I went to cube world again clicked on all files they have a logo right here I just click that you don't need to there's you can just make your own logo you could find one off the internet I don't know do whatever you want I don't really care but that's what I chose to do okay so yeah it's right here what I do now is just open it here because if you do this one it'll remember it'll just update the the cube world data one because that's what you messed with and you'll you won't have the skin or the mod or whatever so I'm just gonna go here because he has both the boat and the and the uh, what's it called glider sorry I keep forgetting about the name let me wait for it to load a little bit. Uh, Alright, I'm going to cut to when I get to a city. I mean, sorry, a river. Alright guys, so I'm at a river, as you can see. And I'm going to showcase the boat first. Alright. So you just get in water. It's not deep enough right now, so I can't show you. God damn it. Eh. No, go to the deeper part of the water. Over there. Get on my llama. Where's my llama? Oh, look, I'm here. Okay. So, when you're deep enough water, just press G and look, your boat. Uh, it's a spaceship theme, so it's like a hoverboat, I guess. Looks kind of like a hoverboat. Looks like it's. Whatever. By the way, the speed. Yeah, it doesn't come with the uh, mod. This is because of my skill. Yeah, that's pretty fast, I know. It looks pretty cool. I think it looks pretty cool. I personally like all the cube world textures, but this is definitely something that I might use for other things that might bother me. Maybe in the future, maybe now. Maybe for a pet, which you can download for like Pokemon mods and whatever. You just go to the forums, you can do that. Okay. So, I'm going to show you the glider now. It's a spaceship. It's pretty cool. It doesn't look weird. It doesn't look as weird as I thought it would. It actually looks really cool. It's really big though, really bulky. And there's an ogre. Oh god, talk about bulky. Ah, ah. Run away! So yeah, look at that. There's a flying spaceship in Q-World. Who would have thought? Well, yeah. This was my tutorial on how to install those files. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys don't have any trouble with it, as long as you follow my steps and instructions. Alright, well, see you guys later.